Okay, so it doesn't look like anyone's barricaded at all. But just to be safe, I'm just gonna quickly check the other side of the castle. See if there are more vehicles. Maybe even a player, maybe just setting up camp there. You never know. I'm pretty sure I've got night vision goggles, so it will be night soon, so. Just wanna make sure. I think the rabbit's helping me on this assault. <laughs> uh, but I think. This will probably be the best I'll get. Because if I keep on going, I'll then have to run an even further distance in the open. And if there is someone sitting on top near that little bird, I don't want to get sniped. So I'm just gonna stick close to the walls. Make sure I have cover at all times. Just hope that nobody's behind me, but I doubt it. Nobody will be up here. But I do have a PKM, even though I've got one magazine for this. And they're both 7.60, but the PKM is a lot stronger. It's 7.60 by 54, and this is only 7.60 by 51. Hopefully I can walk up these stairs without breaking my legs. I don't know if I just heard something or not. This is safe. Oh. There we go. Okay. It's safe here. Yeah. So it's locked. Don't know if the owner's home of it. But there used to be a base here a long time ago. Tent. But I'm not sure if the end is left or not. Before I check the tent, I want to check the roof. See if anyone's home. I really hope there isn't. Okay. Okay, no one's here. That's good. It's a good sign. And it's locked. Okay. Well, at least we checked the castle. Um, and I could probably maybe unlock the safe with the four zero digit code because some servers have it and I know for sure this one does or it did not too long ago so I don't know if it still does because there was a broadcast that usually goes up by battle eye uh, just the admin just puts it up oh, I thought that was a play but it was just a bird okay <laughs> um, some servers have it some don't uh, it's like after 30 but on this server it's 50 days. That was lucky. Uh, watch. Uh, but on this server it's after 50 days of inactivity. So if you don't unlock it and then put stuff in and out of it, then it'll go unlocked. If anyone to freely choose. And yeah, there's nothing in here. Can I remove that? Maybe pick it up? Nope. I think I need a crowbar or something. It's incorrect. So I think someone may recently live here. Or... They've just placed it down, and they're just away at the moment. Because coincidentally enough, there is a locked little bit on top. But you want to take it nice and easy when you go near these steps. Because you know you could break your legs and then pass out and then bleed out to death. If you do begin bleeding. I'm not sure if I'll head though. Maybe just... might head to... Jifford's Dino and try and find a vehicle there or something. Oh dear. <laughs> a gyrocopter. They don't tend to fly too high. Could be doing something wrong though, but... It's in an open field because it flies like a helicopter and an aeroplane at the same time. Which doesn't go as high as both. But I have waited a couple minutes. Doesn't look like anybody has shown up since I last checked the tree line, although could be something right there, but it's just armor textures, so it might not be anyone. And there's literally no zombies in these fields, apart from the one behind me, which is spawned in from me when I first ran in. Because zombies are a good indicator to tell you for players around you or not, because they only spawn about 200 meters within you. And usually they spawn from buildings, but now the game's progressed and they don't always do that. Hopefully this works. Yep, it does. Full full how nearly full green fuel. 
Uh, that's not a vehicle. Alright, let's start this up. Hopefully it'll be a safe flight, maybe. Okay, that's good. We can lo rotate it. Because it doesn't seem to be going uphill at all. It seems to be a bit frozen in place. There we go, that should be good. There we go. Time to head on out. Bit of a bouncy ride, but we should be okay. Hopefully. Weapon cache. That's near, that's near. Although I want to get this M1107 securely safe in one of my uh, safes. Look at that nice aeroplane takeoff. And just hope that we won't die. That was probably a good um, height distance I got since I took off with a mountain. That's really good. Uh, it's like a sedan in that trees. I want to search for a huge vehicle, otherwise I'll just go to my safe and buy maybe an armored SUV or a chin-up. Something like that. I had to transport all my gear. It's good to be back on Overbuck. It's good to be back. I haven't been on for a while, so... A lot of things have changed, and the server population was at one point just dropping, and now it's finally climbed back up. We nearly got half of the population back, but I think some of them are different players as well. Some of them are old players, but the majority of them are a bit new newcomers, so it'll be good. Because um, there were, I think, two groups that were just absolutely stocked with armoured vehicles, ammunition and just insane weaponry that they could easily just dominate one side of the map and then if you went there you'd pretty much be dead. And that is quite the unusual spot for a C-130 to be placed. Uphill. There's no chance of getting that out of there. And there's no rotation thing unlike with Jarikoffer so it's been unfortunate, but they do still have two briefcases though, the C-130s, but there's no way of getting it uphill when it's already parked halfway. Whoa, did I get a perfect landing? Maybe at least land this thing, maybe not perfectly, but there we go. A bit bouncy, but we did it. Too easy. Right. The little bit that I just passed over. That is quite a large base. It's definitely progressed quite well. This little bit is I'm it looks to be like a a spawned in one. Don't see any legs in that base, just a bunch of safes and maybe a shed, I'm not sure. But if this was the uh the owner of that base this is a little bad. Then I don't think they'd park it too far away. Yeah, they they wouldn't. This is definitely spawned in. Yep, we maybe spawn in, because they usually spawn in with at least something damaged. So I'm not sure, but I need to get out of here really quickly if this is someone's, because they might hear this. Because little birds are a bit loud, but not too loud. So at least auto hover isn't on, so I don't think. They'll worry too much because they're an experienced pilot. They can easily just buy another one, hopefully. Because they wouldn't crash as many as people <laughs> or get shot out of them when they put on autopilot. But one tip do not use autopilot. Uh, I think someone said in a base there because that isn't a spawn. Yeah. The uh, SUVs parked right beside the fuel can, fuel tank even. And there's a base right there. Two bases, in fact. Let's say the other way. A bit safer, at least. Uh, but I'm heading over Bandit, the Bandit camp as well, uh, just near this town. There's a mission directly to my right, maybe three, four kilometers. Good with fuel, I won't have to refuel here at the fuel station. Just over there. Uh, the Bandit camp is to my left now. A bit further up there. Yeah, there's just one more town to go. Another camp is 
just that way. Maybe 1.5 kilometers from my location at least. Oh my goodness. That base is massive. It was just a wall and then it got broken into. And I guess the owners have decided to come back online and rebuild it. But hopefully, actually I'll have to, might mark that, the mission, so I don't fly over the top of it. I think I should be fine here at least. Wow. That base is insane. That's a really cool base. Definitely good design. Might just quickly swap. I didn't look to be anyone in the tree line, nor at the base. So I just had a quick circle around, there wasn't anyone here, so... This is fully green, even more fuel, and it sells for even more, and this is a lot quicker, so... And for its size, because this is one of the original helicopters from Arma 2, uh, they were in the original DayZ mod. So that's what I like about this, and... Despite its size, it's a lot more maneuverable than most other helicopters. I like this one. A little bit over there. And it's definitely a spawn one, because the ones that you purchase, most of the time people go for the ones with the railings on the side because there's more seats. But it's something like two more ten ounce gold. Dear. Something close to that. Yeah, you can definitely tell by the smoke, they've recently landed. I think they may have looked out as well. Yeah, I don't see anyone. I see a little bit in the safe. Oh, they're mozzie. Um, I was going to quickly return to one of my safes all the way north, which is where I'm going to build a base, and put this M107 inside. <laughs> Make it nice and safe. And I've got PKM, but I'm not sure if I'll keep that on me or not. No way. Three briefcases in a. Usually they have like nothing, usually they just gold balls. That is insane. Oh my god. <laughs> that was lucky. Well. I can go buy a helicopter, I guess. <laughs> That was so lucky. Uh, but there was also a red mission up, and, but the only downside to that is is that it spawned right beside that weapon cache and it just got recently um, just taken under control by other survivors, so probably won't be heading there. Um, I didn't check out this one base near the radio tower. Is it still here? It's still there? Yep, it is. So I don't know about decay on this base, unless people just continuously uh, I guess rebuild after it decays, I'm not sure, but most bases are still alive. That is a long runway. Yep, yeah, yeah, keep them going. It's definitely a long runway. I have landed on that with a banana plane. <laughs> Didn't go too well because there was a building at the end, or at least near the end, so I couldn't turn around. Finally rendered in. I might drop these briefcases off the base. Because I am just in the process of moving everything uh, with this vehicle, I guess. But it's not the best capacity, but it'll do.